You're listening to Steve Sapato and the Speaker Talks uh, podcast for speakers, authors, entrepreneurs, and leaders, and everyone who wants to grow their business and their personal success. And that's what we do here. So uh, you'll see in my background, I've got the Speaker Talk stage up. Um, we also run a Speaker Talks, which is a competition to TEDx, kind of. When you're frustrated with not being able to get on TEDx, jump over to Speaker Talks. We'll get you on a stage. Uh, we'll get you your 15 minutes of recorded time training for a couple months so you can be great at being on stage with your signature topic about your expertise. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? People learning about what makes you a success. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about success uh, in all kinds of other ways, including how you can vocally become somebody of interest, you know, because have you ever met somebody who talks like this, you know, and they're like, or, you know, I, I have people that when you sit with them in the car and they drive up to the drive up window, they go from, you know, hey, I, I want to talk to you to, hey, can I uh, order, you know, we all change, change our voices for different things. But do we realize we're changing our voice? Well, today, I have the wonderful uh, Sharon Merrill, and she's a voice coach who helps you find your authentic voice. Are you there? There she is, Sharon. Hey, Steve. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me. Sure. And actually, Sharon and I tried this once before, and something went wrong with my audio, and so she's back. You guys don't know her for the first time. So anyway, Sharon, so tell us a little bit about... Tell us about what you do right now for real quick in 30 seconds, your elevator pitch type thing, and then we'll go back and find out how you got here. Sure thing, Steve. Yes, so I am out to help speakers, top influencers, and sales teams to actually use their voice so that they become extraordinary communicators. And I do that through using various techniques to really have them emotionally connect with people. Cool. And that's, you know, that's important that we know how to communicate, isn't it? So, but how did you get here? Did you just pop up one day and say, I'm going to do this? Right. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, my background is actually in music. I do own a music academy. I uh, play flute. That's my main instrument. And I have directed choirs in the past and have worked with vocalists. And ended up actually learning more about how to use your voice for speaking and was trained in that. And I really enjoyed connecting with people and helping people in that way. So I got into that more. I've taught uh, some week-long classes various times and people have really responded to it and saw the transformation within a period of time that really made a difference for them. Okay. And you say really made a difference. What kind of difference? Well, they end up working so that their voices might be, if depending on the problem, they might have to put more melody into their voice. Or like you were demonstrating, someone who talks really high. Well, they learn to use more of their chest voice. Or people feel like they aren't heard when they're in a group. And they get told, oh, you sound so quiet. I can't hear you. So I teach the techniques so that they can end up being heard, be taken seriously, and then people really are more interested and want what they have to offer. You know what? Um, um, I've taught corporate training for most of my life. Um, You know, the last few years, I've decided not to travel so much, so I'm now doing things that will help a lot more uh, speaking type people. And that's what I do, teach speaking, you know. But um, over the years, I run across these uh, other trainers and they're not coaches they're trainers so we're in a classroom situation and i've been involved uh uh, with helping them and watching them and so many times at the end of the day they're like oh my god my voice is going to give out oh my god my voice is so sore i'm going to be using lemon water and i'm going to be using this and and i always look at them like "Uh, I, i don't get it you know your voice is your voice right but you're right i mean i've somehow and i will say uh I was in theater in high school. Maybe my my voice coach there taught me certain things, but I don't remember him teaching me specifically voice control or anything. But I don't ever have a problem with my voice giving out. And a whole lot of people, especially especially in the training industry. So uh, uh, like my wife runs, uh, 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 I want to say mental health, but it's not. She runs a healthcare. She run, I'm, I've got brain problems today. She runs a healthcare uh, training organization. Matter of fact, she's the one that we teamed up with her corporation and uh, we teamed up to make uh, certified virtual trainers 
so we can actually get people who can certify that they're really good at being on the small screen. But uh, those are the people that we talk to who say, you know, I, I talked for four hours and my voice won't last another four. And you want to go, shut up. Of course it will. But what they really don't know how to do is how to use it. And they should contact you, right? Yeah, correct. And, and when you're talking about that type of situation, it really comes down to people just not knowing how to breathe correctly. Because your voice is meant to be able to speak 24 hours a day if you had to. So it comes down to really... What is, what, how are you breathing? And when you're starting to get hoarse and that problem starts creeping up, it's because you're probably just breathing through your mouth constantly. So the idea is to breathe through your nose when you take that breath in and then you're, it's coming out of your mouth after that. But that breathing in through the nose creates a moist air going down and past the vocal cords so that you don't get all this dryness and then it ends up swelling up because it gets so dry and red and then then you're losing your voice so yeah it's all about breathing when it comes to just that aspect you know and that is interesting that uh you know again some people come by it naturally and some of us have to be taught that one of the things i just did a uh a quick 30 minute training earlier today on another group i'm in and it was all about making money and how you're making money and it wasn't just how to make money speaking it was how uh, we miss out on money because we don't know how to do certain things. Well, part of that is we need to be trained how to do some things. And people go, but it should be natural. That's, I, you know, when I uh, was doing a lot of relationship work and teaching love, um, you know, people would say, but love, you know, it's going to, Steve, when it's, I don't need to take a class. When love happens, God's going to happen, it, you know? And I was like, uh, no, God, God does not, you know, God's not reaching out going, oh, hey, you need this partner. No, God's not doing that. And so they needed, most people don't understand, they need training in every area of their life. They need, they need training on how to find the love of their life. I wrote a book so that they could find the love of, their, they could learn how to find the love of their life. And I wrote a book on how to conduct yourself in business. And I wrote a book on how to uh, do business networking. Do you have a book, by the way, on voice? I actually have a, a method a guide. It's called the vocal powerhouse or the vocal power drivers method. And that's something that I am giving away for free that people can have. And Please. I did put it in the uh, chat notes for you if you want to share share that. There's a bunch of stuff there. Uh, why so. don't you tell us how we get a hold of you? Do you have that on your website? Uh, yes, it's on my website. And uh, you can also email me at uh, Sharon at SharonMerrillSpeaker.com. And my last name is spelled M-A-R-R-E-L-L. A little different spelling there. So you can contact me there. Yeah, reach out to my website. I'm on, you know, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, all of those, the social medias. Now, and on Facebook, I have a group called the Vocal Powerhouse Formula that you can also join and you'll see tips there. And I just had an app released called Vocal Powerhouse that you can get through Apple, iTunes. And there you can also find there's some free content that will give you some more tips about voice. There's actually, I created a meditation for those who have stage fright. Some people who are having trouble getting on stage, if we can get over that nervousness and that fear beforehand, then you're gonna be better and more comfortable getting up on stage. So I've got a little meditation, meditations for that too. Wow, meditation for being better vocally. Who to thunk it, right? Who to thunk it? Because I, I think, hey, I need meditation when I want to calm myself down. I need meditation when I want to uh, uh, relax. But meditation is used for all kinds of things, huh? That's right. Yes, and in this one, I particularly use different colors themes. So you're you're starting with a color, and it's in general we think of red as being kind of fear. So we start with red and I'm moving you down through orange, yellow, green, down to blue, which is kind of a calm, it's a peace, peaceful color. And at that point, once you get through that, you should be ready to go and have everything just more calm and feeling like you're there to give to whoever you're, you're presenting to. You know, and so many times uh, I was, uh, 
calming myself down this morning. Uh, I, I've been a nutball recently on so many people looked at me and said, Steve, I don't need uh, professional speaking training. I don't need public speaking training. And, you know, I get excited because people don't understand what all that entails. If you can speak in front of a group, it changes how people see you. If you can speak, it changes your confidence level. You know, all these things. But even more importantly, um, like I, over the last month or two, I've, uh, we've been needing stuff at our home and needing stuff done. And we meet people online who say they do X, Y, Z. Right. And so they'll be you know, like, we had one guy, he said, I'm a mover, you know, uh, I, I help people move. And I said, like what? And he went, you know, and of course, there's a group setting. So you don't get a lot of time with just one on one. It's not like you and I talking. And he said, well, I help, you know, like whatever you have to move, we make it possible for you to move it. I said, what kind of area do you cover now? For most people, they're like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. But I had something I wanted to move. And so mine was a buying signal. If he had been taught how to be better at communicating, he would have caught that as a buying signal. But he went, mm -hmm. oh, we cover all kinds of states. Oh. Well, first of all, he didn't answer the question. And I said, right. and, and so I came back with, well, I want to move something from Illinois down to Tampa, Florida. Do you cover that area? He goes, oh yeah, we cover that and we cover Tennessee and Georgia and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And when it was all done, our time, you know, because you get put in these rooms, our time went bink, he's gone, I'm gone. And he never reached out to say, hey, what did you want to move? Of course, that gets back to exactly what you said. When we all need training in areas that we don't understand yet, if you're not as successful as you want to be, let's start asking everybody, how do I be more successful? One of the reasons might be your vocal quality turns people off. Have you ever heard somebody speaking? And you go, oh, I couldn't listen to that all day. Isn't that right, Sharon? Exactly. Yes. It's all about when you think of speakers who are getting trained, there's a lot that goes into it. And when I get down to the specifics of voice, now we're talking about things like people who might be monotone. And that is really 85% of the world has a monotone type voice. Oh man, won't that kill you? I know. Or they, and they might have maybe two or three extra tones that go with it. So they might be talking along on one tone. They'll go up a little bit, come back down. And they might go along a little bit and go back down and up. And it's just, it stays <laughs> that in that sing room. song. That sing song. Yeah. And so when I ask people, okay, let's take and move that up where you're using more tones and i tell them to try and, and it's called it's using melody out of the five vocal power drivers there's melody pace pitch tone and volume so when we start with melody i have them experiment by doing just something as easy as using the tune happy birthday and taking some event or something they're going to do today and you put the words to the tune and this is going to expand your range by about eight notes. Even you, know, you don't have to be a singer. You can screw up happy birthday and <laughs> you're still, you've got movement going. No matter how much, how well you sing it or how well you don't sing it, there's some movement there compared to just how you're currently speaking. So, so that you makes said, huge You said melody, pace, what? Melody, pace, pitch tone and volume you know um sharon and i are probably going to end up teaming up uh, because i teach speakers i teach you how to get on stage how to share your message so that people want to hear you if you really if you're an author or if you're a speaker and you have a message to share you need to be on our stages right you need to be on more stages. You want people to say, I need to hear more about that topic, whatever topic that is, whether it's child abuse or whether it's finding the right stone in the creek. If there are people who need to hear your message, you need to be on a stage sharing it. Well, I had somebody last year, Sharon, who was on my stage and had a great message, but had a voice like this. And no matter what I did, he went, you know, and, and this is how we do things. And you're like, oh my God. And no matter how you worked with said, so, you know, you got to change that. You got to work this up. I couldn't get him to make that difference. Okay. Now, what I should do is team up with Sharon, right? 
<laughs> and it should team up with Sharon so that she takes, you know, when I reach that place, I go, Sharon, here's this guy. You got two weeks with him. I don't know how long you need, sure. but I only, if I've got him, if I've got you for a long time, I've got you for six months. If I've got you for a short time on the speaker talk stage, it's two months. So Sharon wouldn't have very long to work with your wonderful monotone voice to help you get better. Okay. So that's what we need to do. And Sharon and I, like I said, we'll probably work something out so that you get the full range of training so that you can be so much more effective. Can you imagine if you're selling something and your buyer finds you boring? What would that, what do you think that would do, Sharon? Yeah. Oh, you would bore that person to <laughs> death and they would be like, oh, I'm tuning out. That's what happens. You tune out when you hear the monotone. It's just like, uh, okay, I'm falling asleep. So yes, you've got to create a mood and melody is going to create that mood. It's going to create you at least appearing like you're more happy, you know, <laughs> so and you've got some excitement in your voice. And if you at least have that, now you're going to pique that person's interest and they're going to be, oh, what is it you have to say? So yeah, you got to really put that excitement in your voice and just add a little melody. You know, and that's when we talk to you about how we want to help you. This whole podcast is designed to help you get better when uh, it's a speaker talks podcast. Um, yesterday, I had somebody who was talking about helping with Instagram. So if you're doing anything as an entrepreneur, as a business person, you need to learn about Instagram. I have somebody else who's coming on uh, later today or tomorrow or something, and she's going to talk about digital marketing. You see, the Speaker Talks podcast wants to help you get better in every area so that what right. don't I know is what you should be asking. And what you should be saying is, I better tune into the Speaker Talks podcast so I can find out what I don't know, right? And here we are talking about how just your voice just your vocal quality can change the impact you have on people and the results you get. Right, Sharon? Exactly. Exactly. There's one aspect which is really interesting inside of pace and how, you know, when we're at a comma and a period, we... Uh, write... You mean like, uh, um, like, uh, like we're supposed to have a comma and like uh, a period um, in there somewhere? Yeah. Not your fillers. I'm not talking about fillers yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, <Ed> Steve. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just when you're speaking and when we, we get, even in a general conversation, when we get to the end of a sentence, we always go down or we get to a comma and we still have another thought. We tend to go down. That's the general rule we've kind of been trained with. But what happens at those points, it's an easy place for people to interrupt you because they think you're done. All right, stop it. it. Don't interrupt me. Yeah, they think it's their turn to talk. That's right. So I'm going to interrupt. One okay. of the challenges we face is that most of us listen with the intent to speak, not to hear what's being said. So go ahead, Sharon. Now you can pick that up. That's a good point, too. So if we continue to talk and we actually at the commas and the periods go up a little bit and not go down, we will keep that person's interest. So we could go up a little bit or we can stay on the same note, but we keep going with the thought until we're actually done, then we can go down. Now I've given you permission to go ahead and say what you wanna say. So it's a really, good technique to keep the listener going, oh, they got something else to say. Oh, what what else do they, do they want to tell me about? So it keeps them intrigued and it keeps them interested just by doing that little bit. Don't go down all the time because if you keep going down at the commas and you just keep going down, then you're going to start to sound so sad. Oh, you're so sad. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. And, That's and people do it. People do misinterpret a lot of times what you say because, uh, and again, you read all this information. It says 70% of what people get from you, right, is nonverbal, right? In other words, not it's not the actual words. It's how we say them. It's how we move when we say them, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Actually, you know, it's even higher than that. It's about 93%. It's only 7% of the words that has you be believable. And it's 
38% is emotion, which is basically vocal tonality. And then the other 58% or whatever it is, is or 55% is your physicality. So yeah, that emotion and physicality together, that's huge. So yes, definitely the, the nonverbal communication. You know, so you have to be asking yourself as you're listening to this podcast, what image am I conveying to the people? Right. And, and we say to the people you're selling to, to the people you're talking with, to the people you're working with, to your boss, what image. And so when we talk about um, being a great public speaker will make you and I put here being visible is huge key to success. I don't care what you're trying to do. If you're more visible and speaking, being a good speaker changes your visibility. So if at work, people aren't giving you what you consider their respect. Maybe it's because you just do a slight downturn to your voice, right? When, you, when you're talking to him, you go, okay, and so uh, um, this is what I have to convey. And when I drop it, people are like, oh, I'll jump in. I'll tell you what you want to convey. Exactly. And so when you understand that, you need to call uh, Sharon. Now, Sharon, how do they get a hold of you? So you can get a hold of me. You can call me. Uh, my phone number here is 216-410-4885. You can also contact wait, wait. say that again because people are just getting their ink pens out now, you know. So All it's right. like, oh, I want to write down her number, and she's already done saying it. So would you say it again? <laughs> sure. It's 216-410-4885. You and see, Sharon then- can teach me about speaking, and I can teach her about getting that message heard. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> and then also by email again. Sharon at SharonMerrillSpeaker.com. And my last name is spelled M-A-R-R-E-L-L. So that's M-A-R-R-E-L-L. And you can check me out on all the social media sites. I'm all over the place. And then, like I mentioned, too, you can also go to Facebook. And there is the Vocal Powerhouse Formula group that you can join. And then take advantage of the new app I have called Vocal Powerhouse. And I want to also give you the free gift of the Vocal Power Driver Method. That's the other thing I want you to take advantage. Take a look at that. How how do we get that? You you can do that through the link. Can you put, there you go. There's the link. Uh, Just click on that link. That will send you to a page where you can get the vocal powerhouse or the vocal power driver method. And you're going to go through there and learn more about melody, pace, pitch, tone, and volume. And there's also video examples in there. And it'll give you a roadmap as to how to start off using all of these drivers and actually practicing and going through over a four week period coming up with the end result of a transformation that you're really going to be thrilled with, I think. So you want to go ahead and give that a shot. And I'm also going to be doing, keep an eye out too, if you sign up for uh, my newsletters and go to the Vocal Powerhouse Formula group, you'll hear more about the challenge that I have. I do Vitalize Your Voice Challenge. It's usually a five-day challenge. And I had one back in February and we'll have uh, another one, probably either the end of March or beginning of April. But those are regular, regularly come around and I would be thrilled to have anybody join me on there. That's always free, but you can always upgrade to a VIP and you can, yes, VIP. And you'll get some extra time with me and we'll be able to do more concentrated, more hot seats working with your voice individually too. Cool. Now, and and I'm going to jump in here and uh, uh, give a little instruction too. I hope you don't mind, Sharon. But when Sharon, like she was sitting there going, when you do your melody, pace, volume, pitch, and tone, you know what? My high school or my grade school, I don't remember who, which one, you know, it's been a couple of days since I was there. And uh, uh, it's one of those deals where I remember them telling me that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Right. And if you were to try and tell me now, if you put up here uh, uh, a headline saying, hey, we're going to be teaching melody, pace, volume, pitch and tone, I wouldn't tune in. Right. Because we go, uh, so what? But understand that those five things, one, two, three, four, five, those five things 
can put more money in your pocket, can put more success in your career. OK, so when Melody is saying, hey, would you like more success in your career? Then you need to come to my Facebook group when you want more success in in how you present to people. You need to get my free. Uh, 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 what was that? A free what? The free the vocal power driver method. The vocal power driver method. What can that teach us that would make us more successful? Yes, exactly. I mean, the advantages. Well, what what would it teach us? What would it it's teach gonna, us? It's definitely going to teach you how to use each of these and what it does to increase the power of your voice and to have you emotionally connect to people because it's about and, this. And, and why do I care if I emotionally connect with people? Because the, it ends up being the sound of your voice is actually more important and matters more than the words that you say. Ooh. And you are going to have more success. You're going to be happier. You're going to be taking advantage of being able to have that connection where people are really going to listen to you and want to hear what you have to say. It that's goes all why, the way down to having your kids listen to you. That, ooh, ooh, look out. <laughs> those and you know what we don't think about those things sharon it's not you know you're just like i can talk i know how to talk right but again it gets back to what i started to say before there's lots of stuff that we take for you know people say oh falling in love should be easy it should be it's not you need to take lessons on how to do this and people are like that's stupid hey you know what call it stupid if you want but if you're if you're really successful in your relationship great you don't need any of that but maybe you do right if you want more success and who doesn't want more love or more relationship work but it's like this how many people say i know how to talk you don't have to help me you know going to going to a voice lesson the, <laughs> no that's not going to make any difference to me but it does don't you guys get it yet learning how to present yourself every way possible changes your future and, and learn go ahead i was gonna say the question you also want to ask yourself is are you making the impact that you want to make when you're communicating with people wow isn't if that what you, you want you, yeah. you want to impact people right anybody listening says i should want i want to make more of an impact well there's how to get a hold of Sharon right there. So I uh, got uh, if you're not if you're not on the radio or the podcast listening, if you're actually on the podcast watching, which is on my YouTube channel, you should see Sharon S H A R O N at Sharon Merrill Speaker dot com and Merrill is spelled M A R R E L L Speaker dot com Sharon Merrill Speaker dot com. So. Boy, I hope you reach out to her. I hope you at least go to her website and get her freebie so that you can start learning a little bit and then ask her questions. You know what? If you talk to her like this, whether you use Zoom or whether you use the telephone, she might be able to tell just from your voice how she could help you. Ooh. Yes, exactly. And that's what I, I offer 15 minute complimentary vocal strategy sessions. So I'm happy. I want to listen to your voice. That's the only way I can help you is to hear what is it about your voice that you want to improve on? What is it that is well, and we don't and most of us don't know. No. Right? Most exactly. of us don't know. If you said, Steve, what do you want to improve on with your voice? I'd go, uh, nothing. My voice is just fine. <laughs> yes, exactly. What's wrong with my voice? Right? And it's not about being saying what is wrong with your voice. It's about the nuances of, okay, here's what I hear. And then you recognize, oh, yeah. Like some people have what they call the vocal fry, where it dies out and it gets crackly. Crackly. I hate that when people have that. You know, I just, yeah. I just noticed that recently. Maybe you said it the last time we talked. Because suddenly <laughs> I'm like, quit that. I know. Now you hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So just little things like that. And that's what, when I first was getting trained, that was the one thing that was pointed out to me is I have the vocal fry. So I have to be very aware of it and know that how to, how to eliminate that is in how I breathe. And the fact that I need to keep the air flowing through to the end of my sentences. And if I don't, then my voice just, it'll just die out. 
just like that. Yeah. So I really pay attention to that. But it's just those little things to level up a little bit more to really have people take an interest and really pay attention to you. So it doesn't, that's the thing. These are just subtle changes. It's yeah. not like I'm trying to throw out your voice. It's really about finding your authentic voice because guess what? You were not born with the voice that you have now. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Think about you know, that. And I want you to ask yourself as listeners, um, how many times, because I'm thinking right now, how many times have you heard somebody that you said, man, I couldn't listen to that person all day? Or, you know what? Just just talking with them was kind of irritating, and I'm not sure why. Now, imagine if you're their boss. You're a boss, okay? You're the manager. You're the supervisor. And these people are on your team, whether they're on the telephone all the time, whether they're this all the time, whether they're that all the time. But you hear that their voice can be one of the things that turns people off, that's an irritant. So they might be a pretty good salesperson on the phone or on their Zoom call. But what what if they could produce 25% more simply because they stopped irritating people with that voice? So, and and see, at this point in time, if you said, Steve, what's the most irritating thing about somebody's voice? And I said, I don't remember, but I remember that there were people like that. So when you have an irritant, I want you to think of Sharon Merrill. And so... <laughs> That's that's right. And I tell people all the time, when you see a boring speaker, I want you to think of Steve Zapato. It's not that we're boring. It's not that she has a bad voice. It's that we want to help you fix the challenges in your life. So if you're a boss, if you're a supervisor, if you're anyone who has team people in your downline, if you're a multi-level marketer and you have people in your downline whose voice is just irritating, right, you might want to get them over to Sharon so that, guess what? If you created more success in that downline person, would they stay longer, maybe forever and make more money for you? Maybe. So there's all kinds of ways we can help other people. Don't think of this just as I don't need any help. You may not, but the people you cross. So please take down her information. And Sharon, what's your information again before we wrap this up? It is Sharon at SharonMerrillSpeaker.com. My last name spelled M-A-R-R-E-L-L. And again, you can also go to my website, contact me through there. It's SharonMerrillSpeaker.com. And then also through the Vocal Powerhouse Formula Facebook group. Please go there through, you can DM me on Instagram. Any of those will work. Excellent. Okay. And so as we wrap up this episode of the Speaker Talks uh, uh, Speaking Podcast, I want to uh, share with you that we want to help you get better. We want to help you make more money. We want to help you be happier, healthier, have better relationships, all of that, because we're here to help you. And so I'm Steve Sapato. If you need anything, reach out to Steve at stevesapato.com. Certainly subscribe. We'd love for you to subscribe to this channel so that you get a lot more information to help you grow every week. And uh, we also want you to uh, reach out to speaker talks. If you'd like to be on a speaking stage, if you've uh, thought about being on a TEDx, uh, trust me, getting on a TEDx stage is so hard these days. And besides, there's a thousand TEDx's around the nation. Each of them has 10 to 12 speakers, which means there are 10,000 TEDx speakers every year out there. How will you stand out as a TEDx speaker? When you can come on the speaker talks, we have 60 people every year. Become one of the 60 qualified speaker talk speakers and get your name heard. I'm Steve Sapato, Steve at Steve And it's been a pleasure sharing one last thing before you sign off. Well, I just want to thank you, Steve. And I want to say to everyone, you're going to listen to people a lot differently. Now, the next time you get a telemarketer on the phone, somebody who's helping you over the phone with support, technical support, start listening to their voices. You're going to be so surprised at what you hear. Cool. All right. This has been a pleasure. And until next week, have a great day and a blessed week. Bye.